So for further context purposes, you guys made the postseason for the 14th straight year as a program. Mm -hmm. And it was your eighth time, we'll get to the World Series, but it was your eighth time going to the World Series. But we've talked about it on previous episodes that you guys felt you were in a different category within the SEC. You didn't really feel like you were quite there yet with the Floridas of the world or Georgia, whatever. So there had to still be that chip on your shoulder and even your head coach, uh, chip on the shoulders that, hey, you know, we sh we're good enough here. We should dominate this SEC tournament and go right into regional and super regionals yeah i think especially coming off winning the sec regular season mm -hmm. we you know you'll see a lot of times teams will like win the regular season they have the target on their back and there's one team that kind of peaks at the right time and wins the tournament mm -hmm. um again we were just we a lot of times the selection committee because you know selection sunday is the sunday after all the tournaments are done they weigh heavily how a team does at the end. So coming off of losing to Florida, we didn't want to then have another loss within two or three games um, for, for a number of reasons, uh, mainly because we all hated losing more than anything. But, uh, you know, that's we were hosting the tournament and and no SEC team that had ever hosted had won it. So we're like, screw it. Why don't let us be the first one? And I'm pretty sure it was right on Mother's Day that we ended up winning it. So that was just it was extra sweet in so many ways, beating Florida doing it at home, being able to hug, hug our moms um, as we pose for our pictures on top of the dugout. Like, what more could you ask for, you know? And moving on to regional and super regionals, you guys defeated Tennessee Tech, South Alabama, Michigan, and held those teams at just seven runs over five games. Mind you, one of the teams that sticks out there, Michigan, they were ranked in the top five the entire season. Mm -hmm. Great team. Um, one of our biggest – home field advantages at the end of May when playing in Alabama is that you get a team like Michigan and you've experienced Northeast May. Mm -hmm. It's beautiful. It's like 75 degrees, no humidity. And you come to Alabama and it is very difficult to play in that sun. It's very difficult to play in that humidity. And if you're not used to it, I mean, talk about our home field advantage. Like we, th it, we had been used to that 90 something degree weather with 80 something percent humidity at the same time. Um, but they, they were a great team. They just hit us at our, our best. And um, I'm actually pretty sure we got ranked second going in, into the playoffs. We were the only team to play a conference champion every game of playoffs. Mm -hmm. I'm pretty sure it was even going to the World Series. I think every team we had to beat was a conference champion. And uh, looking back afterwards, I was like, yeah, no one could say we didn't earn that. That was we hit because those are you're playing against teams that are hot, you know, that are playing well at the right time. Mind you, USA Softball had your team ranked first just once out of the 14-week season, which is pretty incredible when you look back on it. You guys were certainly ranked in the top five, mm -hmm. but you were only ranked number one once. Mm -hmm. It's hard to explain that. I don't know. You know, I think we liked it. Um, there's is rankings are what they are. Um, mm -hmm. but again, no, like, you know. It's just always like little facts that come back to you even 10, 10 11 years later. Uh, I don't think a team that had been ranked one had won the national championship in a while. It was almost like a, almost like the, if you get put on Madden's cover curse, like you didn't want to be ranked one type thing. So we got the <laughs> second ring and we're like, okay, <laughs> yeah. that's what we wanted. <laughs> um, yeah. You fly maybe a little bit under the radar. Like you're, you're a favorite, but you're not the favorite. Um, we, it was fine. Like I said, we were playing nameless, faceless opponents the entire time. We were trying to beat our best game we ever played, and it didn't matter if we were one or ten. It's it was what it was. I love your body language when when you, I feel like you're on the couch of you know of a psychology session where you lean back <laughs> a little bit and you're starting to tell stories. It's really great, and I think people should visually, if they're listening, watch this show, Softball Strength Academy. When we're talking hitting our body language, your body language, it's it's down to business. But when we're telling stories, it's more reliable. It's great. 